Right now, my special guest, Michael Moore. Uh, Michael, we've, we've talked about America's foreign policy. Let's get to domestic issues. You've been very praiseworthy of President Obama in this interview so far. In relation to the economy, in terms of the way he's, he's running it, uh, what is your view of that? Are you slightly more critical there? Well, first of all, he inherited a huge mess. Um, he, in, he inherited the crime of the century, frankly, just around the corner from the World Trade Center uh, exists Wall Street. And uh, Wall Street and the, and the people uh, who work down there wrecked this economy. They, they took people's pensions, they took people's 401ks, they took, pe they took it as if it was their money and took it to a casino and played with it. They made themselves filthy rich. Then they got, when they, when they started to lose, they conned our government uh, both President Bush and President Obama into backing this huge handout that they got. And we haven't recovered from this. So um, I wish first of but all... But actually, isn't it worse yeah. than that, Michael? I mean, isn't it, isn't it actually worse? It's not only that we haven't recovered, but the very people you're talking about, and I'm completely with you on this, I, you know, I feel incensed on behalf of the American people that the bankers and the other financiers who got America into this mess mm -hmm. through pure greed and, Criminals. and the worst kind of capitalism, yeah. have now, the yeah. moment they've been bailed out and recover, are awarding themselves huge bonuses again and don't seem to give a damn. That's right. That's right. And um, I don't know why the Justice Department, it's amazing that they haven't um, arrested or put in jail a single one of these guys. Um, not they, one. They, not, not one no, has not been one. put no, in no. jail. They've spent more time, the Justice, they've spent more time on Barry Bonds. Instead of, the, <laughs> instead of the guys with the stocks and bonds that ripped off the country. I mean, it's absolutely, it's true. you know, it's really, it's just, uh, I don't know what to say other than um, very disappointed that uh, the Obama Justice Department has not gone after these guys. And there's still time to do it. I hope they do. Uh, when you see the uh, issue about the, the birth, let's not get into the detail, but when you see the Donald Trump uh, birth issue, dominating the news agenda, uh, and, and there's a real prospect of perhaps Donald Trump running for president. What was your reaction to that? I hope in this uh, coming uh, election year th that people remember uh, that, not, not just Donald Trump, but a majority of the people who called themselves Republicans said that they didn't believe or they weren't sure that President Obama was an American. And they were putting him through this whole thing to where he finally had to go through all this in the week before he's trying to stop the number one criminal that's loose in the world. He's got to deal with Donald Trump and getting a birth certificate out of Hawaii while this is going on. And, and in the month before that, the Republican Party is trying to shut down the federal government. Just think about that. If they succeeded, the Republicans, they were trying to shut down the federal government while President Obama was trying to get Osama bin Laden. I hope that people do not I mean, forget let me ask, that Let me ask year. you about, let me, let, let, me, let, let me move on to another of Donald Trump's claims, because I sort of agree with you about the birther issue, but when he was coming out with his stuff about China and OPEC and so on, I actually found myself nodding in agreement that America has been pretty weak in relation to OPEC and China, hasn't it? Well, that's a much larger issue uh, uh, than the way that he was just kind of simplifying it. Um, you know, I don't know how much of that you want to get into right now. I, I'll just say this, that uh, coming from Flint, Michigan, where, you know, I'm from, and where we saw our factories being closed starting in the, in the early 80s, um, thousands and thousands of people losing their jobs because General Motors, I remember the year I made my first film, um, and Roger and me, which is about General Motors. And that year that film came out, uh, General Motors made a profit of almost $4 billion. But $4 billion wasn't enough. They wanted $5 billion the next year, and so they figured we can get that $5 billion, we can get that extra billion by closing down these factories in Flint and St. Louis and Indiana and elsewhere. And, and that's what they did. They threw thousands of people out of work so they could make more money shipping jobs overseas. They were allowed to do that. They were given tax well, in breaks that, in to In that do case, it. Michael, I, 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 I mean, that's where I found myself, as I say, nodding with Donald Trump. We're going to take another break now. When we come back, I want to talk about your next project, which cage you're going to rattle next.
And also going to come up later in the show, Beyonce's new single, God Bless the USA, which is going to raise money for New York's firemen and their widows and families.